Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Oh hi, there's a little pet monkey here that wants to sit on my lap. <laughs> we were out gathering gather, gather. sticks. I know, one second, one second my love. One second, okay Biscuit? And I thought after the day I have had that I would talk about rough days as parents, right? Days when you are... What days are rough days? Yeah, what is a rough day? Let's talk about it. When you're a stay-at-home parent or you're a work-from-home parent, you have days where your kid is just stir crazy and wild yeah, and you yeah, yeah. have a deadline that you've got to meet. Yeah. And it was that balance of like, are you going to meet those deadlines? Are you going to find a way to entertain your kid so that you can? And it's a tricky, tricky balance. I think a lot of, you know, mama bloggers and family bloggers have this unusual combination where they're working full-time but they're working from home with their children around. And a lot of work from home parents, you know, you'll have childcare, maybe your kids will be in daycare or school full time. Um, and a lot of kind of new media mamas and dads don't have that, right? They often pick these jobs and we often pick these jobs because it offers us, ooh, bugs found in my eye, uh, a chance to be around our kids a lot. But it does mean that there is this, yeah, my love, unique balance as he hits the, the camera with the stick. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's not nice. You'd be respectful of trying to find that balance. Hey, what did I just say? Do you want to go sit and have a quiet time? Yeah. No, in that case, come here and chat. Or yeah, go play. Yeah, yeah. Of trying to find that balance. And today I've had a day yeah, where, you know, yeah. I have had book work that had to be done. Um, feel free to check out the books in the description. Link. Oh, oh, so no. promo. I know, shameless. <laughs> but I love oh, my books. No. Um, oh, that had yeah. to be done, oh, and no. I had oh, no. media work that had to be done, oh, no. and oh, proposals no. for oh, no. sponsor content that I had to finish on, oh, and that had no. deadlines coming oh, to it, no. and a kid that screeched oh, no. from, I would oh, say, no. oh, 8.30 a.m. until oh, no. 3 p.m., oh, 4 p.m. No. probably, oh, no. um, oh, no. which is intense to have, right? And I oh, think no. that a lot of moms and dads that watch this channel you can you can understand that and I think it's helpful to hear that we all have those days um, I feel like a lot of Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and social media in general Facebook included is about showing um, you know helpful things and tips and sharing good parts of your life and beautiful parts of your life which is lovely hey sweetie you, you can't eat the camera if you pit your mouth on it you're gonna get in trouble okay do you remember that there are consequences to what we do? And that I think I love. I love seeing people's beautiful, curated, such a hipster word, beautiful parts of their life. But I think it's also valuable to share, you know, well, thank you for kissing the tripod. What it's what we do when days are not perfect, when they don't go 100% as planned. And that that is part of life. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a part of life that you have to shy away from showing or that, you know, moms need to feel ashamed or embarrassed about. It's just honesty that, you know, when you work and you're a parent, those things often clash on. Um, I know with my son, he loves it when I'm just paying attention to him, when I will watch a cartoon with him, when I will build blocks with him, when I will go out and garden or run around a playground with him. And he really wants my attention. And even if it's my vague attention and I'm reading a book next to him, he does not want my focus to be on something that's not him. And that is a really hard thing to explain to a three-year-old, um, that there are important parts of my life that aren't just being a mom, right? There are things that I value that are things that I have to do, right? Um, hey, sweetie, come back, my love. What? You can have your milkies, but only if you sit still. And, you know, that is never an easy thing for anyone. Careful, careful. Okay, you can't knock me over, but I don't want to fall into a stick. I'm not knocking. Okay. You're going to have to stand for them, though. You can't sit on me, because... Come here. Over here. Over here. <laughs> that it's never easy to... I'm going to hold on to this tripod so I don't <laughs> fall over. Uh, to balance those things. And I talked to him about that, and I think that that is one of my biggest tips for people that, um, that do work from home, is being honest with your children, no matter how young they are, whether they're going to understand it at this point, they will have heard it again and again, and repetition is so important in young minds for comprehension, right? 
And so I tell him, I say, you know, I've got to get these things done. It's work. What does work do? And I explain it in a way that, um, that I think he can understand a little teeny bit of. You know, he may not sympathize with it, but at least it's not just, I can't right now. It's why. And I think that explaining these things to little ones really helps with them feeling less put out by us having to work. Okay, Bubba, I have to stand up. You can keep drinking your milkies. <laughs> this is like the weirdest camera angle of all time. Here, stand on my leg. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Things I do to how quiet to shoot a vlog. Um, and so I think explaining in ways that help foster understanding eventually is really valuable. As is, you know, I break up my work as best I can into short segments that then let me focus on playing with him so that it's never long that my attention isn't fully on him. Um, and when I am working, I frequently work while holding him, while nursing him, while doing something that's still fun for him. Do you want to look over real quick just so I can finish talking? No, but mommy. And then have more Dada milks in one second? Whoa! Just have one second, because you can't sit on me. It hurts. It hurts me. It hurts me. No. Be respectful. No, it's getting a lot good. Oh my god. <laughs> Today has just been one of those days. And I was like, I'm not going to shoot. Thank you. I'm not going to shoot a video. And then I thought, you know, it's kind of an inspiring subject. Yeah. Sweetie, you're not being respectful. Let go. Carry your sticks and go gather more. Ooh, seagulls. They're coming to eat our french fries, even though we don't have any. And I think it's valuable to, to talk about these things, to normalize it, just the way and I believe in normalizing gentle parenting or breastfeeding. Um, I also think that we should normalize that motherhood is really hard and working from home and all of these new media jobs. You know, there's a lot of mamas out there that, you know, maybe they sell on eBay or they have an Etsy shop. Etsy, I think it's Etsy, right? They have an Etsy shop or they blog or they vlog. Um, there's a lot of these jobs that allow us to stay with our children, which is a beautiful gift, but that have their own hindrances and their difficulties and these stresses that not a lot of people talk about because I think a lot of women feel like they will be trolled and yelled at if they complain about anything to do with motherhood or, oh, you know, tough it out, you know, whiny middle class people. Um, that barely have to work. And I don't think that's true for a lot of these jobs. I know my work is very time intensive and I give up sleep in the morning, I give up sleep at night after my son is in bed, when he's napping. I do all sorts of tricks to be able to parent and work full time. Um, and I think it's valuable for us mamas in these jobs to talk about it and to share with each other and to give our suggestions and also just our solidarity, right? <laughs> you know, perfection is not the key. You want to go back home? You want to eat some berries? Yeah. Okay, berries and tatas. Perfection is not the goal, but a joyous, harmonious family balance is. I can't think of your mom. Yeah. I want ice cream. Have ice cream, honey. Oh, he wants an ice cream sandwich. That's tempting. I kind of want ice cream after my day. You are. I know you'll try. Uh, yeah. And that you can have that, but when you have that balance in your life, you realize that it doesn't mean that everything is pure joy all the time. That nothing is perfectly balanced at all times. That it's about a give and a take. That sometimes you're focusing on work, sometimes you're focusing on your little monkeys, sometimes you're focusing on your relationship or your marriage, and sometimes you're focusing on yourself. And that you can't do all those things all at once, you can't be all those people to all those people that need you, all those different caregiver jobs but that it's okay to do it in segments and to peace out in your life so that you can take time for yourself. You can find snippets in your day to get your work done and your deadlines met, and you can take care of your children. And I know all the moms that I know that work from home, they love being able to stay with their children, but all of us would agree that it is, it is tough to balance. You know, you don't get a lunch break. You don't get to be away from the house, get work done, and come and separate that. It's very different. And I think that, you know, when I hear other moms talk about it, it's a weight lifted off my shoulders. I go, oh, I can breathe again because it is, it's not just me, right? I feel like a lot of moms are isolated and we feel like any kind of feeling in the day or stress in the day or feelings of, 
um, lack of balance in our lives is a is a negative on us versus just you know life and motherhood with crazy monkeys of course and that's part of why I thought I'd share today <laughs> I know that I have several vlogs um, on vlogs. I know I have several blog posts on the blog, you can tell my brain is fried today, that is about kind of balance and how I balance my riding with my motherhood and how I balance life with parenthood, you know, right? We still have to exist independently and that is never easy. Um, and I think that everyone has different tips and tricks. I would love to hear, you know, if you're a work from home mom or dad, I would love to hear how you balance parenting with your work because it is, you know, I always find that it depends on what part of my work I'm doing. I happen to work in a media business that has a lot of different elements, right? Editing is different than writing a book and shooting a vlog is different than doing social media and talking to companies is different than, you know, any other aspect that I'm working on. And it's helpful, I think, to realize, you know, what kind of parenting I can do while working in my different sections and when I do need a moment to get my work done, right? And that that's okay. And it's okay to ask for. Um, and what I do when I really, really have to focus, and I of course have my son full time, um, is I give him a cartoon, I'll give him a coloring book, or I might give him some paints and paper to do right in front of me because I have to watch him like a hawk when he does that. I might give him stickers. Um, sometimes I'll give him a bowl of water outside if it's nice, and some cups and some other things to stir and play with. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la la. But a lot of the time, it is about doing a lot of those things all at once and learning that it's okay to not have my focus on everything 100%. Sometimes my focus has to be on whiny pants here, and sometimes it has to be on work. <laughs> So that is my honest motherhood moment for the day. I think it's it's good to talk about, it's good to share. I don't feel like moms should feel bad when they're having stressful days. Um, and I know that I have tried to learn to embrace those days and just do what is necessary to get through the day. Um, you know, whatever deadline has to be met. Sometimes those don't get fully met. Sometimes I have to stay up that night at, until 2 a.m. and meet them, um, but to just breathe. And take a moment, and when the chaos is really just whipping around you like a tornado, and you think, oh god, you know, I'm in it, it's just okay to breathe and okay to take that second where you're like, you know what, I will make it through. It's just a fussy kid, it's just a deadline. Life is beautiful. And I try to have a little moment of gratitude, breathe, and then eat some chocolate. <laughs> okay, so until next time, thank you so much. Hey, give these a thumbs up if you love these vlogs. Um, until next time, feel free to check out all the links in the description box. Um, I have a link to all of the homeware designs that I've made on my little shop. And I have all the links to my Amazon author's page that's got all of my romance books out. You can check out my Instagram handle. We post there several times a day, so that's a great way to just kind of follow along and see what we're doing, see what we're thinking. How crazy have I been that day? Generally pretty crazy and fried. <laughs> okay, let go, Bubba Goo. Until next time. Hey, thank y'all so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because I always love, you know, seeing new people join our family and say hi. And I love when you email and tell me how you found me and, you know, maybe something about a vlog you saw. It really helps me want to keep making things because I really appreciate that, those comments. Um, if you haven't already subscribed and followed me and maybe this is the first video you're watching, I'm Rose, my son Abraham. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got some um, speech lays that we've been working through and some other things that have kind of made it a unique experience parenting him since the time he was born. Um, not a good sleeper either. If you have a child that fights potty training and sleep, I'm the mama to watch because I'm going through that with you. <laughs> Until next time, hey, thank you all so much and have a beautiful rest of your day.